The sky is the limit. Well, for some cadets at the U.S. Air Force Academy, that saying just doesn't apply. Those who are training to join the Space Force are learning to push the boundaries of an endless frontier. Their goals include producing resources in space and the hope of one day expanding mankind's horizons to live on other planets. Mark Martin reports from Colorado Springs. The princess is scrolling. Cadet First Class James Ferran commands this operation. He and his crew check the health of his satellite, upload a list of instructions for it to follow, and download data. So, were there any issues with this? Not at all. That was the perfect pass. The U.S. Air Force Academy Falcon Sat program is just one aspect of a rigorous education path, transforming cadets like Ferran into Space Force officers. A nominal pass is what we always want. That's the great thing. However, the things that kind of excite me is when things aren't going perfectly and you have to problem solve on the spot. The cadets can actually build and operate and fly the satellites. And these satellites are, are not the, the QC satellites where we were just demonstrating a, a little technology. No, these satellites are performing a mission for the Air Force and the Space Force and other DOD customers. Colonel Luke Sauter says having a Space Force is critical to protect key U.S. interests in space and to ensure equal access for the nations of the world to utilize this frontier. Whether it's your cell phone and the GPS connection, whether it's the timing of your banking signals, whether it's the weather that you're expecting to see for the forecast in the next few days, space is everywhere. Well, if we're seeing our commercial assets going to space and the money and the benefit to the economy from a space economy, there's the advent that somebody else will want to also take advantage of that or maybe rob us of that advantage. That's where we need a Space Force to defend our equities in space. Sauter says cadets learn space by doing space. From classes in space warfighting and operations to the brand new summer azimuth program. From flying in the Vomit Comet and experiencing what weightlessness is like for real to doing some underwater immersion to actually getting a briefing and tours of all of this surrounding space infrastructure and architecture that we have in this area. It's a very rich area for the Space Force. The Academy also teaches astrobiology to build the science of growing food, plants, and other resources in space. We're building an astrobiology program very quickly that will incrementally do new and innovative experiments. And each one has a unique angle looking at different aspects of what biology means out in space and how that biology relays back to us here on Earth. Cadet fourth class Jordan Moore works to make the perfect mushroom. If we want independent space travel, right? We want to go to Mars, we want to go to the moons of Jupiter, right? We need to have a source of food that is able to be grown and be sustained without having Earth resources. Cadet second class Madeline Latendre plants mustard seeds in phytogel with the ultimate goal of producing plants that can grow in space without sunlight. It's super cool. I mean, this research project is new, and so it's really interesting to be at the start of something and see this process, the trial and error, and seeing the end goal being something um, super cool up in space. The Air Force Academy is the top commissioning source for Space Force officers. About 400 have graduated from the school since 2020, and the expectation is that around 10% of every graduating class will go into the newest branch of the military. Of our 40 cadet squadrons, we have five Air Officer Commandings who are Space Force uh, officers as well and a group commander too. So we really, uh, I think, are doing a good job of embedding um, the Space Force leaders and mentors into just about every aspect of cadet life. And Colonel Sauter welcomes prayers for guidance. We have leadership that is trying to understand how to step forward into this new domain for the good of society and the good of the human population, expand our presence in space, expand to the moon and to Mars and to other locations, and really be able to leave this planet and become a multi-planet species. Cadet First Class James Ferran says having faith while executing a secular mission is right for him. He believes it's what he was charged to do. My mom would always say that before I was born, I was set apart. She would say that all the time. Hi, mom. Uh, but with that, I think that this is a, a calling of some kind. Um, and I don't think I can see myself anywhere else, honestly. Um, it's hard here. It's not easy. But I can't see myself at any other institution. And in a world where the sky's the limit, Space Force cadets becoming officers push that boundary 
echoing their military branch's song, which says, there's no limit to our sky. Mark Martin, CBN News, Colorado Springs, Colorado. We live in fascinating, exciting times, don't we? And that'll give you hope for America. Look at these young, brilliant people. Um, wow, I mean, the intelligence of some folks, it's incredible, and they're so young, yeah. yeah. It gives us great hope. It really does, it really does.